We're here with B-Movie Scream Queen Monique Dupree. What brings you to New York Comic Con this year? The comic books. And Baron Ambrosia from the Bronx. Ah, oh, thank you. Ta-da! This is his comic. I'm actually uh, in an episode of his show. And he's going to be on the Food Network as well on November the 6th. So I'm here to support him. I'm here to see all the comic books, all the craziness, and loving everything. And this too. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the other things that you're looking forward to checking out while you're here? Uh, well, I already have. I was looking forward to checking out some of the wrestlers, and I have. We're a big family of uh, wrestling fans. And I got to uh, meet Jerry the King Lawler and talk with him and a couple of other people roaming around too. Uh, and that's pretty much it because I've hit the comic book stands. I did want to get a couple of uh, t-shirts and I bought this wig. Ah! It's so cute. I love it so much. It's so adorable. Okay. Can you tell us some of the projects you're working on now? Uh, okay, I'm working on a comic that I star in called Ginger Stein, Rise of the Undead, where I play Edie Van Horn. Um, that comes out, it already came out online, but I'm unveiling it tomorrow at Rockin' Shop. So that's one of my bigger projects, which is a comic book project, but it's really big, big thing happening. And I have a few films that I'm doing too that I'm trying to remember so I can plug it, promote it, but I forgot. Oh, I just did Plan 9, which is a remake or a reimagining, I guess, of Plan 9 from Outer Space, which is dubbed like the worst movie ever. But this movie is going to be really great, and it stars Brian Krause and myself and Matthew Ewald and Addie Miller from The Walking Dead, the little girl. I don't know if you guys know. You have to know. She's so adorable. Um, but I have a lot of projects I'm doing. I just don't ask me the names of them. Oh, one is Nutzoid. I just finished the film called Nutzoid. The pictures look like porn, but I assure you it is not porn. I don't do porn. I just like to show my breasts on camera. Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> All right, and our final, final question. If you can be a superhero or a supervillain, which one would you choose and why? Wait, what What would I choose? If you could be a superhero or a supervillain, which one would you choose and why? Like anybody out there now? If you yourself were a superhero or a supervillain, which one would you be? I don't know, that's so complicated. Like, I want to be my, like, I'm gotta. I'm already uh, neither a superhero or a super villain. I just like to take pretty shiny stuff. I'm sort of like Catwoman, but not. I dress up like this. I like to take pretty shiny stuff and occasionally beat on men when I feel like I'm having a bad day and I just want to beat the living crap. I don't know where this is going. I, I was going to curse, but. Um, it's like my superpower. See my, my belt buckle? It has superpowers. And I do like this. As soon as they look at this, I knock them with my breasts. And I have a finishing move called the motorboat, where I just do like this, and then I kick them in the nuts. That, that so, sounds fantastic. That's my, that's my superpower, and yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Was that interesting enough for you? <laughs>